Last November, I did a video titled Bullion Dealers False Advertising. I ranted a bit about certain dealers having inconsistencies on their web pages and how those inconsistencies could be very misleading for buyers, especially new buyers. Well, in this video, I have a follow up to see what has changed with any of their practices. Coming up. Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. In my November video, I targeted Atmex and SD Bullion. Those were the two main targets. Atmex had a sale on, which was very misleading. I can't refer back to that sale because they no longer have it up. But I do, from time to time, see inconsistencies with their webpage. So I'm not going to label them as perfect. But, you know, people make mistakes, make errors. But just have that, you know, keep that in mind when you're doing any sort of purchasing there. Just do your due diligence. Make sure you're make, purchasing exactly what um, is listed and what is shown. In this video, I'm not going to really mince any words here. While being a fan of SD Bullion, I uh, still went after them in my November video. I personally don't like false advertising. I don't know who does. And I thought that they were practicing in it a little bit with their coin photos. I talked about how their pre-33 coins stated random year in the description, but the photos showed a coin with a date. Uh, not only with a date, but the coin photo, the condition of the coin, didn't really match the description. Which I thought was really odd because they had some coin photos with the date blocked out and the word random over it. The inconsistency never made any sense. For some of the designs, the same coin was used to cover different grades. For example, the photo used for a clean coin was the same photo used as the XF coin. Speaking of photos, for one design, the $10 Indian, they had a photo of a 1933 Indian in mint state condition. But the description said, random date, cleaned $10 Indian. This was a problem for me, not only because the photo was of the wrong condition, but there were only 20 coins left in the 1933 $10 Indian. The rest had been melted down. It was misleading. In the comment section of my video, SD Bullion was the only bullion dealer to comment on it. And here it is. It's a really nice comment with the impetus to change. My reply to them was simply, I've seen these issues on your website since at least 2018, and I hope you do change. Fast forward a few months, and I decided to check up on them. And what did I find? Every single gripe I mentioned in that video, SD Bullion took care of completely. I'm not saying that I'm the catalyst of this transformation, I'm just really glad that they made the necessary changes. It shows me that they are a company of their word and that they are trying to do better. Good for you guys. I've always loved my purchases with SD Bullion and I often tell people to shop there. If you've checked out any of my videos in the last six months, one of the online dealers I mentioned to people as a good place to buy precious metals from is SD Bullion. Because aside from their small number of misrepresented photos, overall, they are an excellent company to buy from. In fact, I sent about 20 grand their way in purchases this month alone as a reward of sorts for correcting an issue and trying to be a better bullion company for consumers. I should probably mention this video is not sponsored by SD Bullion. I doubt any dealer wants to sponsor someone who slams them. It probably seems like I'm an SD Bullion fanboy, but that's not what this is. I felt responsible for sharing with my audience an update and the change that SD went through after I basically spent an entire video calling them out. It seemed like the right thing to do. I know you're a company of your word. When you do what you say, you're going to do. You are a company I plan on sending more people to because damn, you have some really good deals. You know, to wrap this up, I just want to congratulate SD Bullion on making these necessary changes to their website. It shows that they are actually listening to consumers out there, which I think is a huge thing. I also um, think that they do have some of the best prices in the game. So 
Great job, SD Bullion. Your time is your most precious asset, and I appreciate you spending it here with me. If you're interested in other topics like this one, check out the other videos I have on my channel. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins, and that is my two cents.